Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Now, hurricane season is about to get more active, and we're starting to see the first signs of that. No signs of development at this time, but I want to show you how the pattern is going to change. There's been a lot of dry air as a whole uh, across parts of the uh, Caribbean. Now, I know some spots, Curacao, for example, we finally got some rain in spots. Watching out for the surge of some moisture around the southeastern Caribbean uh, today and over the next couple of days, but there's even more rain back to the west. As a whole, we've had some dry air in place. In between, we've had the showers and storms, but that, that is the sign of the hurricane season starting to change. Stronger tropical waves. Let me bring you out here. Now, what's going to happen with these, at least the first two, they should weaken somewhat or stay weak. Uh, again, this is nothing organized. I don't want to spread any fear on this channel uh, or uh, anything kind of uh, get out of context. Uh, but what we're seeing here is they're kind of hanging together. Over the last week or two, we have not been seeing that. Now, they're going to run into some of this dry air and dust. So I'm not expecting any uh, super development out of those. But as we look behind, some of the new ones that will eventually come off the coast of Africa could develop. So I want to show you a couple things. Now, first thing, I want to get into the American and the European model, but let me uh, set it up for you. The first thing I'm watching are, are these areas for the potential of some development. One in the Western Caribbean, simply because we're going to see some extra rain in this area starting over the next few days and over the next couple weeks. Now, some of this may shift off over toward the Eastern Pacific side and develop as a hurricane on the Eastern Pacific side, but this is one spot to watch. The second spot will be these tropical waves coming off because the ones we're seeing now are going to add more moisture to the atmosphere. They're going to help break free and break through some of that dust around. So they're going to start to change the pattern and then we'll get stronger tropical waves coming off, especially in early August that may hang together. Now, let me show you the European versus the, the American model as we track the chance of development. So here's Jamaica, here's Haiti, get toward Trinidad, Eastern Caribbean here, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, uh, Puerto Rico right here. Watching these tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. And again, we've got a couple out there now in this area of high pressure that acts like a blocker so you need to keep an eye on this because the area of high pressure will shift around if it stays strong and big anything that develops like we saw with barrel would kind of shoot its way toward the Caribbean this is going out in time this is about a day day and a half from now just taking out in time uh, the green would be some rain not seeing anything organized the European model has been consistent not showing anything super crazy trying to develop this is by the time we get toward the uh, end of the week and you see uh, some green here showing up. Let me take out in time further. Still not showing a tropical storm or a hurricane, but as these tropical waves stick together, they're going to add more moisture over the Atlantic Basin. Now, this is going out in time here into the upcoming weekend. Watching the tropical waves now, they're fighting that dry air. The dry air is helping us out. I do not like hurricanes whatsoever. Do not want them to uh, develop. Uh, but as these come off, these tropical waves are going to be a little healthier, so to speak. This area of high pressure slides off. Again, the strength and the location of that blocker is key. Now, as this slides off a little bit, these tropical waves may take a little more of a curl. They don't really have that big blocker in place. So as these progress over time, they could head toward the northeastern Caribbean and then eventually a little bit closer to the Bahamas. But the European model is not showing signs of development in the short term, but it is now picking up on two stronger tropical waves that will have the potential of development or at least create some more moisture in the atmosphere where the tropical waves behind it may try to develop. Now, the American model shows things a little bit more, uh, a, li a little bit clearer. And the American model did a good job with barrel. So in the short term, watching this area of rain that we've been seeing as uh, we get uh, closer to parts of the Eastern Caribbean today, and I'll, I'll get into that in a moment. And you see the surge of moisture in the Gulf of Mexico lifting up toward Louisiana and Texas. Now, let's just go out in time. I wanna take the uh, clock forward. Watch a buildup of moisture here, just going day by day, just going out in time. Western Caribbean, here's Jamaica. This is by this weekend, going out in time through the weekend, right into next week. Let me stop the clock here. This is Monday afternoon. So days from now, watching a couple things. The good news is we still have that breather, not showing signs of a hurricane or tropical storm, but here's another buildup of moisture in the Western Caribbean. I want to watch it. The water temperatures are so very warm. I'll be tracking the wind shear uh, as we go out in time to see if anything tries to spin up here. Now this may kind of pull off toward the Eastern Pacific side. Maybe Maybe something kind of develops more so over here, but I'm going to watch this. We've got a lot of rain here, but look at this. By the time we get into next week, 
So this here is a week from now, and you see here's one of those tropical waves, not developing as of now, but it is changing the environment. They're starting to hang together. It's adding more moisture, and because that area of high pressure kind of moves off, that blocker moves off, you see how it kind of curls just to the north of the uh, Caribbean by the time we get into next week. So let's go out in time, and you could track that area of rain right here. Is there a chance over time it, it develops? Absolutely, because those water temperatures are so warm in the short term at least, or at least on these, uh, this model output, not showing development, but it is clearly showing these tropical waves kind of sticking together. You see that here, this would be about a week and a half from now. We'll see if there's an area of rain or potentially a tropical storm developing out of that. So that's one area. And then uh, as these tropical waves just progress off as we go throughout August and uh, come off the coast of Africa, uh, the atmosphere gets uh, more and more moisture in it. And there we go, another strong tropical wave moving in. This would be by the following Monday. This would be August 5th. So yes, going way out in time. The good news is still on both the European and American models, not showing a hurricane or a tropical storm, but this is kind of the precursor to more activity. Once these first couple tropical waves kind of survive and move across, that is going to open up the door for uh, an atmosphere that is more conducive for development. And then those next tropical waves, those are the ones that are looking more likely they could develop mid and late August, when we would expect. That's the heart of the hurricane season. Uh, the, the bulk of the hurricane season, almost all of it is actually in front of us. Unfortunately, uh, we've got a lot of way to go. August, September, and October, those three months, that's the peak of the hurricane season. All of that is ahead of us. So early, late July, where we kind of are now, early August, we're going to see those first kind of tropical waves trying to hang together and fight through the dry air. And then after that, we could definitely get some more uh, activity in tropical storms and hurricanes will eventually develop. Let's hope they don't hit land. I'll watch that area of high pressure to see how the steering goes as we go throughout the season. Now in the short term, rain bubbling up near Panama. We've had that. ABC Islands, we've had some of that rain feeding over toward Curacao coming out of Venezuela. And there's some of that rain near Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago. If you get rain today, let me know. We're going to see some scattered showers working across. A little impulse there. Moisture feeding in. Costa Rica and Panama we will see some areas of rain. And of course, that rain from the Gulf of Mexico lifting up to the north, that is not organized. Going out in time, working our way from uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, still seeing some of the areas of rain near Nicaragua. You see that there. And this is tomorrow morning. You see that rain that's going to pull through near St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad. Not a guarantee you get it, but we'll see that higher chance. And that little impulse will pull toward the ABC Islands later tomorrow. Still some scattered showers possible as we work our way into our Wednesday afternoon. And then getting into a Thursday, watching this moisture starting to build in the central into uh, Central America. And that'll be a spot I'll be watching the Western Caribbean like I was just showing you and then spotty showers and storms elsewhere. Dominican Republic Thursday, we could get a few showers and storms. So the seas kind of elevated in spots over toward the Caribbean. Nothing um, that we wouldn't expect. Here's meters and feet on your screen, but the Atlantic waters are going to get a little choppier. You see those building. This is by tomorrow, and we'll see the waters just uh, near the uh, eastern Caribbean, upwards of a two to almost three meters. So pushing 10 feet in some spots. This here is by Thursday. You see some of the elevated seas there. Doing better, though, in the Bahamas and Gulf of Mexico on Thursday. Still a bit choppy as we work our way back through the uh, Caribbean. And then on Friday, kind of that chop that we're going to have with some elevated seas in parts of the Caribbean. Now, as far as the rain goes, watching out for some spotty showers and storms. Just depends if you get a thunderstorm. Here's a Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Not a lot, but a few showers and storms around. And if you don't get rain, it'll be hot. Cuba, watching out for some scattered storms or isolated, isolated in Haiti. If we get one near Port-au-Prince, we could get some flooding. A couple scattered showers and storms. Dominican Republic back through Puerto Rico. And then not quite as much, again, St. Martin, over toward Guadalupe, it would be more isolated, but where it will be more widespread, we could get some higher totals. I'll zoom down to Trinidad in a second. Barbados, St. Lucia, as I was mentioning later today, tonight, tomorrow morning, we could have some scattered showers that give us 50 millimeters or two inches of rain in some spots. Others stay dry, but it could be a little higher as far as totals go. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago, where if we get a couple repeat areas of rain and storms and get a few tropical downpours, we could get a couple spots of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain 
over the next three days. And that includes northeastern Venezuela back through parts of Guyana with some of the higher totals. And then watching Costa Rica and Panama, keep me posted in the comments and stretching back toward parts of uh, Nicaragua with some of those higher rain totals. There's that surge of moisture lifting up toward parts of Louisiana, Texas. Fortunately, not organized, uh, but watching out for a lot of rain and that flood potential. And then the scattered areas of rain and thunderstorms around Mexico City, where we could get dumped on with two to three inches of rain, anywhere from 75 millimeters of rain or even higher. Now, as we work our way toward the Atlantic region of Canada, watching out for some of those uh, scattered showers possible today, southern sections. But there's that extra batch that will start to work in late tomorrow. It's coming in a little bit slower, coming out of Quebec uh, late tomorrow, moving toward uh, Nova Scotia in New Brunswick. And then you see some of that rain working in tomorrow night and then scattered showers and storms will be possible. Wet at times for some of us over toward uh, Newfoundland as we get into later on um, Thursday. So Jamaica, rain chance only 30% today. We'll pick up in a couple days. Only a 20% chance in the Cayman Islands. Rain chance though on the elevated side, Trinidad and Tobago. Again, let me know if you do have any flooding. Flooding will be a possibility if you get some of the rain. Barbados, rain chance on the higher side. St. Lucia, rain chance on the higher side. Not a guarantee, not a 100% chance, but we are looking at about a 50 to 60% chance. Watching that in Grenada, including tomorrow morning, we could see some showers into tomorrow morning. St. Vincent in the Grenadines before that area of rain starts to work its way to the west. Martinique, rain chance in Martinique about 50%, 40% chance the next couple days in Dominica, 30 to 40% chance in Guadeloupe as we swing to the north, a little bit drier, 20 to 30% chance Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, rain chance stays small, stays kind of small, 20 to 30% chance Anguilla and St. Bart's, 20 to 30% chance St. Martin in Saba, 40% chance though today in Puerto Rico, we could have a few thunderstorms, 20 to 30% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands, 30 to 40% chance of some scattered showers across the uh, Bahamas, 20 to 30% chance in the Turks and Caicos. Watching out for a few downpours possible in the Dominican Republic today, isolated in Haiti, but if you do get some, could see a thunderstorm popping up, 20 to 30% chance in Belize. It will get a little higher for us in Belize by later this week. Rain chance stays low for the rest of the day in Aruba, but not out of the question. Now, We've had the rain nearby in Curacao. The afternoon, we're looking at about a 30% chance. So kind of what's left of today uh, as we hit the afternoon. Still a chance of a few showers uh, as we get toward Guyana. That's where we're going to have some of those higher totals. Rain chance has been down in Suriname, 30 to 40% chance. 30% chance today in Cuba, 50% chance of some scattered storms tomorrow. There it is, still elevated. Costa Rica and Panama, we are highlighting that. 40 to 50% chance across Nicaragua, about a 40% chance of some scattered showers possible in Honduras, otherwise dry and hot. Guatemala and El Salvador, it is going to pick up some later this week. Mexico City, it stays active. Areas of flooding, 20 to 30 percent chance the next couple days across the Yucatan Peninsula, 20 to 30 percent chance in northern Colombia, and especially northeastern sections of Venezuela, and even just true northern spots, some showers around. Some of that did lift over toward uh, Curacao. Bermuda, we're looking good, mainly the dry conditions. So a nice breather in the tropics right now but those bigger waves are coming off. That is going to help to change the environment. Some signs we could see some development as soon as early August, more so mid-August. We'll see that better chance as August, just as we go through, will progressively get more active. So clearly tracking everything. I'll uh, keep you posted as we go throughout the day as I try to reply to some of your comments. Thank you for all the likes on the videos. Be safe. Have a great rest of your day.